Under the powerful microscope, we observe a female mosquito preparing to feed, its six delicate, hair-covered legs landing softly and gently on the textured, porous surface of human skin. The mosquito carefully extends its proboscis, a complex bundle of six needle-like stylets, precisely positioning it for penetration into the skin. With remarkable precision, the serrated tip of the proboscis begins to pierce the outermost layer of the epidermis, made up of multiple stacked layers that resemble onion skins. The labrum, acting as a flexible outer sheath, guides the other stylets deeper into the tissue layers, much like a finely braided wire advancing smoothly. Inside the skin's depths, the mosquito's stylets navigate through a dense landscape of cells and collagen fibers, systematically searching for a suitable blood vessel. It employs specialized sensory structures to detect the warmth and chemical signals from capillaries, its primary target for extracting a blood meal. Once a vessel is located, the mosquito injects saliva containing anticoagulants to prevent clotting and anesthetics to numb the area, ensuring smooth feeding. This saliva is what causes the familiar itchy reaction we feel later due to our immune response. But for now, it enables an efficient feeding process. The mosquito then activates its pharyngeal pump to create suction, beginning to draw viscous blood into the food canal of its proboscis. We can clearly observe the blood filling the mosquito's abdomen, which visibly swells and expands as it consumes its nutritious meal. The feeding continues steadily until the mosquito is fully engorged, a process that typically lasts several minutes in real time. Finally, the mosquito carefully withdraws its proboscis from the skin, leaving behind only a tiny puncture wound that seals quickly. This microscopic journey reveals the intricate and often unseen world of a mosquito's bite, a true marvel of natural engineering and biological adaptation.